So next I want to get into what it, what it takes to become a Raider, uh, what's involved in the process uh, if someone was interested in becoming a HERS Raider, and then what is the, what is the rating process look like? What do, what do HERS Raiders actually do uh, in the field and through energy modeling to get the HERS Index score? So be becoming uh, a ResNet certified HERS Raider, first of all, it's a 40-hour a, a course that has uh, a, a written and practical assessment um, at the end of it. So, some, they're, so the, the courses themselves are actually given through uh, ResNet uh, accredited training providers, and some of them now are starting to offer uh, different styles of, of courses. The traditional HERS course is, uh, is, is like a Monday through Friday, you know, eight or nine hour uh, days uh, taking the class and also uh, in in-field, in uh, you know, d demonstration or, or, um, or uh, teaching of how to use the equipment, the blower door and duct blaster uh, equipment. And then there's, after, after you take the course and pass the exam, there's an apprentice style probationary period for conducting the rating. You have to do a minimum of five ratings where, um, where your uh, quality assurance provider will oversee those. And then once you pass that, you have to contract with a, a ResNet quality assurance provider. And then you, uh, they're, they're the ones who actually certify the raters. So ResNet, uh, ResNet accredits uh, quality assurance and, and, and training providers to, um, that, that oversee HERS raters and the, the rating process. And then there's a requirement for pro, uh, professional development, uh, 18 hours I think is required every three years for renewal. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and answer. No, it looks like that question's been answered already. Okay, I'll move on. So, what can HERS raters do? What is it? What is it involved with? Once you you know achieve the the HERS uh, certification, what can you do? So, there's a, there's a handful of things. Uh, energy efficiency plan reviews is one of them. Uh, doing building envelope leakage testing, uh, duct leakage testing, and then uh, pre drywall inspections, where you're looking at uh, insulation, envelope, air sealing. Uh, duct insulation, uh, verification of window, U-value, and SHGC, and uh, equipment efficiencies. And then also verification of compliance with the, with the energy rating index path in the IECC. And finally, one of the, one of the most important parts is the energy modeling uh, component to the HERS rating. Uh, you can do the energy modeling to determine the actual HERS index score uh, and, and estimated energy usage. So, and what we're finding is that many HERS raters, uh, especially with with more and more uh, standards, uh, reference standards being included within the energy code, more HERS raters are actually starting to do various types of energy code compliance um, services on top of uh, HERS ratings. So here's a, a listing of the certified raters by state. This is, uh, it's a little bit out of date. It's back uh, from July of 2017. Um, in total, we have a little over 1,900 uh, certified HERS raters that are um, that are current and active. In total, there's over 5,000 uh, that have uh, taken and passed the course and uh, became HERS raters, um, but they may be inactive uh, or not not maintaining. So this is the this is the listing. By uh, state, you can see there are HERS raters in every state. There are only a couple states where there's just one uh, certified rater. But overall, uh, I think that the general uh, the general take from this slide is that there are HERS raters available in every state. And I think that number will continue to grow um, with as the energy code and the energy rating index path gets adopted uh, more widely. The, the the recent codes, at least. You can also find certified HERS raters um, on the ResNet website, resnet.us, and you can look for um, HERS raters in your area by, uh, by state or by zip code and find uh, HERS rater and, and HERS rating companies right on the ResNet website. ResNet also has another uh, designation, another, it's a certification called the, uh, the, the rating field inspector. And the rating field inspector is it does 
a portion of what a HERS rater can do. The, the, the main thing that a rating field inspector or an RFI can't do is the energy modeling com, uh, component to the HERS rating. But they, do, they can do the pre-drywall inspections. They can uh, go out at the final inspection and do the envelope leakage testing and the duct leakage testing. And they'll bring those, those, those uh, results back to the HERS rater to complete the rating uh, through the, the modeling software. And here's a, just a listing of the rating field inspectors by state. There's a little over 500 um, RFIs in total across the country. And it, it kind of, it, it really depends on the market as to how many there are. Often the larger rating companies will have, uh, will have RFIs and, and HERS raters um, so that the RFIs are doing a lot of the field work and the raters are, are doing the modeling work. ResNet also has a more recent um, uh, designation called the HERS Associate. This is, th the purpose of this is to provide an understanding of what the HERS, of what HERS is without be going through all the steps to become a certified HERS rater. So this is for someone like, uh, you know, an architect or an engineer or even um, like building material um, suppliers, someone that wants to understand what the HERS index is, how it may impact their project, but doesn't actually want to go out and do ratings. Uh, it's a, it, it is a, a fairly intensive course. It's typically going to be a, a, a one day or even a half a day, depending on the, depending on who's uh, offering it. It's the, the learning objectives introduces ResNet, um, gives a, a really a much more in-depth look at what the HERS index is. Um, how, how HERS ratings are produced, what the types of things that impact the, the HERS score, um, and then also the, the building science principles uh, that the HERS index are, are founded on. And then it goes through the inspection and testing uh, of, of the inspection and testing portion of the rating, what that involves, um, and then does it, it gets into a little bit of the how the energy modeling works, what's the methodology behind the modeling in the HERS index, and then looks at the um, how the HERS index scores are related to other things like the energy code and, and other programs. This these the HERS associate is offered through um, the, through ResNet partners and through our training providers. Um, Ryan, on that yep. associate note, um, is that um, something for, is there like continuing ed that's required after somebody gets it or is it just sort of a one-time thing and then you're always a HERS associate? Yeah, I think it's a one-time thing. I don't believe that there's any continuing ed for the HERS associate in particular, no. It's a, it's a, it's a certificate as, as opposed to a, uh, as opposed to uh, a certification like the RFI or the HERS rater. Okay. Does it give you any special access to being able to sort of not certify, but maybe produce sort of your own hers or getting an understanding of how to produce uh, ratings. Um, it does so. It does not allow you um, access to the certified um, or, or to the approved hers software. Uh, be a hers rater in order to obtain the um, the her the ResNet uh, approved uh, hers software. Um, so it doesn't provide a particular uh, benefit there, but it do, it it will the someone who who took this course would definitely be able to describe and and make have an understanding of how um specific construction practices and materials will impact um their hers index